We begin with breaking news tonight. Legendary longtime Cleveland broadcaster and the voice of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Joe Tate, has passed away. Jim Donovan joins us now with more. Joe Tate, great guy, great broadcaster. Absolutely, Russ and Laura, I'll tell you what, there are many great basketball broadcasters. People will talk about the great Chick Hearn of the Los Angeles Lakers, Marv Albert when he was the voice of the Knicks, the gravelly voice Johnny Moist of those great Celtic teams in Boston. That's okay. In Cleveland, we had Joe Tate, and nobody was better than the great voice of the Cavaliers, who left us at the age of 83. Joe Tate has passed away. That career coming to the Cavaliers as their broadcaster started in 1970, and it stretched all the way to 2011 when Joe finally stepped away. He was having health issues at that time, which have continued up until the time of his death. A Hall of Famer into the Basketball Hall of Fame media wing inducted in in the 2010 10 year. You know, there was a time, ladies and gentlemen, when not every game was on television, but that was okay in Cleveland because all you had to do was go to the radio, tune on 1100 AM, and listen to Joe Tate put pictures to words and make a game come alive with great calls. Let's go back in time and listen to some of them. Here comes the play. Unsell lobs it underneath. Starting up the three. Picked up by Shadir. Shoots it. No good. No good. Looking. Fires to Doherty. Back to Elo. The three in the air. It's good. He won it. Elo hit a three pointer on the sideline at the buzzer. Yes, Virginia. There is a Santa Claus. And he comes from Lubbock, Texas. Mo looks. Looks, fires to LeBron, three ball in the air. He hit it! He hit it! He hit it! Cavaliers win! Absolutely gives you chills. He was that great. Quick story to end on here, and it's personal for me. You all remember that famous game out at the old Richfield Coliseum. Game five of that playoff series, Cavs and Bulls. Michael Jordan hits the shot to break our hearts. But back and forth, they went all game long. Bulls one-point lead, Cavs one-point lead. I was speeding out to the Coliseum to get to the game on time to get post-game reaction. And it was a masterpiece listening to the game on the radio to the point that when I arrived at the Coliseum, and pulled into the parking lot, I didn't want to get out of the car. The game in real person couldn't match what I was listening to on the radio. That's how great Joe Tate was at calling basketball. None better, and we miss him already. Laura? A powerful story and quite a name. Jim, thank you so much. We'll check back in with you in just a bit.